Hey everybody, here is an HP A1000 that's in for service. This is the same computer I cleaned out not so long ago today. And as of today, this was the filthiest computer I've ever cleaned out. <clears throat> Still trying to clear my throat from that, but um, anyways, this computer had to have been exposed in an environment where drywall work was being done because this, this thing, it was pretty bad in terms of dust. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take the cover back off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just do an overall inspection of the inside of the computer. Just a visual inspection. Look for bad capacitors. See how much memory is installed. That kind of stuff. This machine takes DDR400 or any sort of DDR. The first gen DDR memory. Socket 939 AMD, Athlon 64. <clears throat> Here's your motherboard. 92 millimeter exhaust fan. 200 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. DVD burner, light scrap burner, which may not work anymore after all that dust. And there's a power supply. It's a Hypro HP D305 7F3R. These are great power supplies, but they do have the tendency to have caps go bad. I've had to recap quite a few of these. And this may be a, an additional one to um, have to be recapped. This one's, got, this one's got bad caps. I don't need to go ahead and recap that one so I can put it into this computer. Anyways, um, see how much memory is installed here. Now I was like to go into the system BIOS and do this. Let me go ahead and grab my flashlight and this get a visual look it's probably two 512 sticks you have two sticks of 512 megabytes um, DDR400 PC3200 and see what I could do here is if this machine gets Windows Vista or Windows 7 I could stick two more 512's in there and give this thing um, two gigs of RAM which would be decent for basic Windows 7 you know, for a basic Windows 7 computer now I'm going to do is I'm going to take this power supply out and have a visual inspection of it okay we'll and pull out the power supply and um, the one on the left is one out of this computer the one on the right is one that's up on the shelf this one does have back capacitors which might be able to see through the vent get you a better focus here There are quite a few failed TPO capacitors in there. Basically, they're bulging on top. And sadly, it's a common thing with these power supplies. We'll look at this and we'll see the same thing. This one, there's not as many bad caps. This power supply needs to be cleaned out, actually. But, um, not as many bad capacitors in this one. I think, there are, I think the only two, I think the only ones in this power supply that failed are the two up in the front area. No, no, I wasn't sure exactly where they're at. But again, this one has I think like three or four bulging. So you have to recap it. I have to recap both of these. And the good thing about them about these power supplies is they're not too they're not too incredibly difficult to to repair. Because they use clamshell designed casing. Yeah, I mean they use clamshell designed cases on them. So we can get easy access to the PCB without having to tear the whole thing apart. Though sometimes I'll tear them apart anyway. But other than, other than that, the motherboard looks perfectly fine. So it looks like the only problem with this computer has to do with software. The owner didn't mention that there's probably a virus on the machine. And I think one of the problems with this computer is that it still has Windows XP. <laughs> but, um, anyways any questions or comments feel free to ask and thanks for watching